Let's Let's Point user. In this video, we will cover four topics. Terminology, navigating our platform, helpful tools and utilities, as well as how to contact our support team. First up, terminology. Products. Products are the merchandise you would like to sell, whether this is your inventory or supplier's items. A source. A source can be your internal warehouse, your dropship suppliers, or even a vendor. A channel. This is your sales platform. A channel could be your custom website or a marketplace such as Amazon or Shopify. Listings. Listings are the final form of your products. This is what your customers will see on your sales channel and can be customized for each sales channel. Now let's dive into Flexpoint Navigation. Once you sign into our platform, you will be directed to the homepage or account dashboard. To navigate Flexpoint, you'll rely on the icon panel on the left side of the screen. Let's take a look at each icon. First is the homepage icon for our current screen. Next, products, which will house all of your inventory data. Next is orders, which houses active and completed orders. Following this, you'll see invoices and reseller icons for our advanced users. The next icons you need to know are sources and channels. Here is your reporting section also for advanced users. Then you'll see our support icons, live chat, contact us, and getting started for onboarding users. Lastly, your global settings icon is here. Before we leave the homepage, let's discuss one important feature, your account ID number. The account ID number or AID is found by clicking on the round icon in the top right corner of the screen. You'll need this AID when speaking with our support team. Here, you can also update your email address, password, and personal information. Now that we know our way around, let's dive into the Products tab. You'll see three tabs at the top left of your screen. These are the three stages of product management. Source inventory is the raw data from your sources. In the product catalog, you clean up the data and customize it to your business needs. Channel listings is the final stage before the product data makes it to your sales platform. Here, you can adjust the data by sales platform. You are able to search through the data using our sophisticated search tool. By default, when typing in the search field, you are searching for four key areas, title, SKU, MPN, or UPC. To search by other fields such as brand or category, click the gear icon and select the desired field. Filters are also a great way to search through your data. On the left blue side panel are our default filters. These change as you move through each product stage. You are also able to create and save your own default filters by clicking manage filters. If you need a specific set of filters for one-time use only, click the plus icon next to filters and stack as many filters as you need. To remove the one-time filters, simply click the X next to each applied filter. Now that you've been introduced to the products tab, let's discuss the orders tab. Here in orders, you can track and update your orders as they are imported from your sales channel. You may already be noticing that the product screen mirrors the orders tab. In fact, they share many features such as searching and filters. You will also see new sections along the top left of the screen. Today, we are focusing solely on orders. Future lessons will cover the other sections. Now let's shift our focus to the center panel. Here you will see an overview of orders placed by your customers. This overview includes the current state of the order along with the progression bar. Now you may be asking yourself, what about the rest of the information you're seeing in the overview? Well, this can all be customized to your liking. What you are currently seeing is the default view set by Flexpoint. To create your own custom view, click the gear icon. Next, click New View. Then, add fields you would like to see. 
Drag and drop these fields in order to suit your needs. Click Save View, then click Apply. And now you have a custom view showing only the data that's important to you. Let's shift gears and talk about our Sources tab. Remember that in FlexPoint terminology, a source is any connection to a supplier, your internal warehouse, or a vendor. In this tab, you will be able to see an overview of each source and their integrations. Each integration controls a different part of the fulfillment process from important inventory data to receiving shipment updates. Don't worry, we'll dive into key details in a future lesson. For now, know that this is where your sources live. You can add new sources and edit those sources all from one key section. Now let's discuss the other half of the equation, channels. Once you click on the channels tab, you'll instantly see that this screen mirrors the sources tab closely. Here is an overview of your connections to your sales platform. Channels have their own type of integrations, controlling events such as creating new sales listings and importing your orders. In an upcoming lesson, we'll provide a deeper dive into sources and channels. You'll be an expert before you know it. To close out this video, I want to highlight our support team. As you learn the platform, feel free to ask for help along the way. We offer 24-7 email and chat support. You may also schedule a Zoom-based support call Monday through Friday during standard business hours for the Eastern Time Zone. To easily access our team, you may select the live chat or contact us icons. I also want to highlight the links to our support and API documentation here in case you ever need it. And there you have it. You've completed your first Flets Point video. Be sure to check out our next video, all about connectors.